Cheers, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fosman Kujin and today we're back with you guys for Black Clover episode 58. Last episode Vanessa went and faced the Queen of Witches in the Queen uh, in the Queen Forest in the <laughs> Witches Forest where she yeah. came from and uh, we found out that to leave this place is to become a fugitive so she's putting her whole existence her whole freedom at risk for Asta. Mm -hmm. She, uh, we had a suspicion that the queen was her biological mother. She did say something about how she's the, the mother of all those witches. All of the witches are technically our descendant. Yeah, I don't know if it's metaphorical, maybe, but still she took a big interest in Vanessa. We're thinking again that she saw her future. She did say that her power could allow her to uh, weave reality and the future and all of that. So she could be very powerful, but mm. she's obsessed with perfection and Vanessa was not perfect. So she kept her in a cage and, and she had those high hopes for her and Vanessa left. So I mean, what does it mean to be perfect? I, I, I don't agree with the idea of perfection, especially from you know this queen. So we need to convince her that this is wrong. But still, Vanessa came back and she was saying she was going to be her slave. She was going to stay if she gave her a way to heal Asta's arms. Now she's in, unconscious on the floor. Uh, the queen was disrespecting her like crazy and everyone else came up and they were trying to defend her. But the Eye of the Midnight Sun just showed up. So yeah. now we have the queen who's really strong facing us. We have the Eye of the Midnight Sun led by Fana who's really pissed coming and we need to somehow survive this. So this is where we are. Uh, I say we jump in this episode and see how they manage. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full length reactions. All right, let's go. <laughs> We will change that! Fanzel found a way to be naked again. As always. Yeah. New family. Prove to you that it's wrong. A wrong ideology. We can do this. I wonder though. If she's supposed to be the mother of all witches, and all witches are a descendant... I think she said it more as a metaphor. But do you think that maybe she just uh, put her soul in another's, and someone else's body? Like, no, to I think on? it's... No, no, no. I think it's... Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I think she meant it more as a metaphor, because those witches don't look like each other, but then somehow she has the same hair as Vanessa. So I'm thinking it's... It's a saying that she's the mother of all witches, but, I mean, but Vanessa might be her biological daughter. If, if it is the same thing as the Midnight Sun, because Gosh is the reincar body reincarnation of someone from back then. Maybe. Vanessa could be the body reincarnation of her from back then. Maybe. Who knows? So why don't she? She's bluffing. Or she needs them to protect her from the Eye of the Midnight Sun. And maybe. And like I said, we don't have Yami this time. <laughs> mm. We just survived the last one. Yeah. If she helps to protect her place, maybe. If the other witches help, maybe we have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you are being led by revenge. Fire and forest. Not a good combi uh, combination. And it's a spirit too. Like she's supposed, she's probably really strong. <laughs> Okay, at least. See, your predictions are imperfect. They're coming too. Okay, so they are there. <laughs> we'll do, we'll yeah. have our, our meeting. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's just looking straight at her. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Mm. Okay. You're not being sneaky, she saw you coming. Yeah. 
Masaka Marisu no ka. Mars about to have a huge surprise with him and that son. Everyone here knows each other. Maja no mori o mamorade to. Pyakuya no magan mo diamond mo. With no swords. With no arms. Mo dete dou yatte? Eh? So datta. Naos tame ni kitan dakara ne. It's interesting though, I don't know how they'll do this, or how he'll do this. Hey, hello again! Aww. Saving you! Mm -hmm. Everyone's here for the big meeting. Ah, it's true, she's there. <laughs> Don't spit on my sacrifice! <laughs> but really though, to sacrifice her to save Asta is not better than sacrificing Asta to save her. Yeah. Using your feet? Oh, dude. Oh, so. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Well, you'll he, be thinking you can use him. <laughs> Cutting the curse? He's trying to cut the curse? Dude. I don't agree we'll either. never accept that. Aww. You change fate. You are the master of your future. Yami has a big influence on us, though. Dude, stop! Okay! She was gonna backstab her. <laughs> ah, that would work! She's right there! And he's taking your plan in front of me right now? Yeah. <laughs> but that's great, they're taking control of fate. You're gonna need him. Fair point. Talking like a true queen, Noelle. That was easy. Thank you. I love that she's standing up for, for herself and Asta. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> but she's growing up, she's she's standing up more for herself. It's nice. No. You see, in a way, her power kind of looks like the threads of Vanessa, too. <laughs> he needs to catch up on the training. Damn it. We fight back and then we, we you know, be we, careful about the queen. get the hell out of here. The queen wants to use him in the end, so... Oh, tough love. <laughs> I'm sorry, thank you, thank you. You got the name. Oh, Santa's my arigato. So, Kua Hatashita. Oh, my Tachino Chikara. Yeah, the one you called imperfect. <laughs> the attitude. What does Tachini Makasetekre? Maris to Rados. In Ningarda. Okay, we're doing this. This time we need to survive on our own. Like, they'll take care of the side characters. Who's gonna take care of Fana? At least maybe we can survive Fana until Mars shows up and wakes her up somehow. Until they show it on, yeah. Okay. 
Very, very much a creep. Can we kill him first? <laughs> yes, thank you. A man! <laughs> You're just not used to, to men. <laughs> Bitch. Those that stand back and just attack the those that are already weakened. Trust in each other's strength. And please kill this guy. Like, after this, their opinion of men will definitely not change for the better. <laughs> Uh, that initial moment of how did he cut through my magic is always <laughs> satisfying. <laughs> he can't just bouncing up on every one of them. <laughs> He's pissed. Oh shit. Noel. Noel. That was fast. I'm gonna die as if <laughs> it was all a ruse to, to confuse you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We'll do our best. It's a cruel. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not magic if you have to wait the normal amount of time. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm interested in uh, not Mars because we know already about Mars, but this character and their backstory. Yeah, especially with Fanzel. But still, Ser seriously, I really hope that we're gonna be able to wake up or save Fana. Well, but then they, she's supposed to be dead, I right? Don't, yeah, that's why it's that's why I want the meeting because, like I said last episode, it's gonna help us understand maybe how this situation can happen—the whole reincarnation thing or the whole possessing a body thing. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, but we need to find out. And if she doesn't wake up. I'm thinking, because like, she is just as strong, if not stronger than Veto. She's got a spirit with her. We're strong. I no doubt about that. We managed against Veto, and it's the same team that was truly kicking ass with Veto. I'll talk about that later, by the way, because I have something to say there, but still. We'll manage, but still in the end, Veto kept coming back, and who truly defeated him? It was Yami. Yami's not here. We don't have a captain level fighter with us unless Fanzel ends up being stronger than I think he is. He could be. He's a teacher from, from the Diamond Kingdom, so who knows? Yeah, but right now Fanzel is going after the Diamond Kingdom but guys. Yeah, but still, I don't think we can truly defeat Fana just like we couldn't truly defeat Veto. But I'm thinking the guys from the Diamond Kingdom that are showing up, so Mars and that blonde guy that creep. They are supposed to be just as strong as captains. Yeah. Mars could see Fana be like, you're my friend. And if she doesn't wake up, he could go freaking mad. Like, don't want to defeat I'll her. I'll save you. Yeah, either I'll save you, I'll wake you up, or I'm not going to let you exist like this. Like, it's, it's not fair. Like, maybe he'll be the one finishing her off or at least taking care of her. I'm thinking he could do it because he is really strong and we need someone stronger than us to truly defeat Fana. We'll kick ass for a while. For sure, but I don't think we can defeat her. Now, the whole, like, it's the same team that we had against Veto, and I kind of like that because I loved them last arc. The dynamics, yeah. But I am a bit disappointed that we don't get this chance to see other people shine from the Black Bulls. A little bit. A bit? We just saw Vanessa, Finral, and yeah, Asta kick ass together. It's true that we just saw them, yeah. Yeah. They do make a 
great trio, right? Like their powers together really work well. They managed, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Noelle now doesn't have to protect anyone. So she can kick ass too. She can basically Noelle is is an ad and it's really great. Like she's been uh added to this this dynamic. Mm -hmm. So that's a change. But I kind of wish that we could have seen other people do something here. I don't know. I mean, we did see Magna and Luck together last arc. They were together alone for a while, so they kicked ass. Who else is left? Like, Gordon is still not there. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. I mean, we saw a little bit about Gauche. Uh, Gauche and uh, 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 Charmy and Grey. Yeah. But they came in last minute, and then they added their strength. Like, I think the last arc was mainly... Like, it was a team effort, but it was mainly about the discovery of how well Asta works with uh, Fidral and Vanessa. So, I don't know. It, it would have been nice to see other teams, or other team-ups. Team ups, yeah, other ways they can work together. But at least Noelle this time is there and she has a chance to, to fight. And it's not just them. It's also like we got the trio of Mariella and Domina and Fanzel. Mm -hmm. Even though they are splitting up because there's a lot of opponents and there's only three of them, they're going to have to, you know, have faith in each other's mm -hmm. strength and, and just go for it. And that's hard because he's, it's his wife and it's a student, and he's fighting other students. Like, there's a lot of emotions involved in this. Yeah, you need to keep a straight ahead to yeah, go into it. If you're fighting, like, usually that's what we hear, like, when someone's like, I don't want you on the battlefield with me, because if you're there, I will I won't be focusing on the enemy, I'll be focusing on you, I'll be worried yeah. about you. But he, do, he cannot do that. Like, he needs mm. to trust that his wife and his, his student are going to be great, and, you know, focus on his own thing. Because if he doesn't do that, he won't be at his a hundred percent, and they won't be a hundred percent because they'll be worried and everything. So they all need to focus on the goal here, and they're gonna need uh, all of their strength because uh, they are strong. These guys are strong. I think they, yeah, they did say Mars and the blonde guy are supposed to be just as strong as captains. So that's like three Fanas or one Vetu. It's like the, the the third eye together, and it's only us. You know, but we're gonna manage. We don't have a captain here. We're gonna manage. Oh, we're gonna try. Uh, but like I said, I think Mars might be the one taking care of Fana in the end. That's but we'll take care of her for a while mm. and then you'll it'll come in maybe. What do you think about the witch's queen power? The queen of witches, the queen of witches when she ill Asta. She's been doing a lot of things, so I don't truly understand yet what her power is. She could be. Like, your theory is that she's been possessing bodies. But I mean, that could be an explanation, right? If that's true, maybe she's adding their power to the, to her arsenal, and that's why she uses many things. But then again, we don't know. Uh, the crows could be her familiar, true. right? Her animal, her spirit animal, or whatever. So that, it's it could be, like, it's not truly magic. It's just, it's an animal that works for her, so she controls that. And, and then the divination thing could be a, a magic object, so maybe not her power. And her true magic could be what we saw, which, weirdly enough, I thought it looked like Vanessa's magic because I kind of saw threads in it. Those are the threads of fate, basically. Yeah. She did use blood magic, so... I don't know where she picked that up. Uh, it, it sounds like ancient magic, kind of like the, the same thing that cursed Asta's arms, right? So she could be that, really old. That's what I'm thinking, that maybe she used the same techniques that what they use for Fana, Veto, and everybody else. I don't know. What I'm, what I know for sure is that every time I see her, I'm like she has the same hair color or very similar to Vanessa. So that's why it ticks me like, oh, I think they might be related, but biologically related, which could also explain why she saw so much potential in Vanessa. But, but I mean, she did say, well, when she healed Asta, she said his magic will be mine. Right. Yeah. So maybe her thing is that she raises she people. Still magic. Well, maybe she steals magic. Maybe that's why she wanted Van like Vanessa to be strong and stuff. Maybe eventually she wanted to get her magic for herself. She did say, like, Asta, if he manages to prove himself, if he does oh, something... Oh, slash him giving them candy so they're going to be uh, fed enough to be eaten. She's using them. <laughs> just like Ansel and Gretel. <laughs> yeah. But really, she's using them right there because just like Vanessa was showing up being like, I'm not sacrificing myself. I was expecting you to, you know, your magic to save me after, which is great. Well, the queen is doing the same. She's like, right now I need them. Because she didn't expect... Like, uh, by the way, this is exactly what I meant last episode. <laughs> her visions and her magic, it's not perfect, right? Yeah. It's Now she's in trouble because she didn't truly see the future the way it was supposed to be. You can change that. You can change fate. 
Right there, you have proof, but she's the not focusing is on that. Technically, never set in stone. You can always well, change based of your actions. Yes, but apparently, she's not. She doesn't believe that because she like she's all about perfection and everything. But you can't be perfect in a world that's imperfect, right? Still, so she got wrong. She was wrong about what was going on. The Eye of the Midnight Sun, which I think she could have faced on her own with her witches. They came really early, and now she hasn't dealt with us, so now she needs to deal with the two groups. And then the Diamond Kingdom showing up, because they're taking advantage. That's too many enemies. Too much at the same time. She's not admitting anything, but she needs us, so she healed us, us so we could help. Great speech by Noelle, by the way. I, I was saying something like, that sounds like a true queen. She does come from yeah. royalty. But it's also her coming into her own confidence, and she's portraying a, a she's she's basically showing a, a, a mask of, of control and strength, and she's putting up a front because she was shaking and she was afraid, but she still did it, and that's true courage. Yeah, but that's what it means being brave. You yeah. know, it's to it's to do stuff despite your own fears and the fact that yeah, you're yeah. scared. Exactly. So she did it for Asta too. So she they said you can't bargain, you can't convince or change her mind with the queen. She did it in like two seconds. It was pretty <laughs> good. But it, it's also like the queen was in a rough spot and yeah. she needed help. So she's using them because she gave him back his arms. Made, made him better too, apparently. Stronger, so, harder. Yeah. yeah. Stronger, better, faster. Anyway, <laughs> so she did that so they could protect her home. But then again, after that, she intends to take his magic take or back. use his power or whatever. Maybe she steals other people's magic and that's why she's so strong. We'll see. I still think we can change her mind, prove to her that imperfect people can, you know, surpass expectations and, and win. And her idea of perfection is wrong. But we'll, I mean, well, first we'll need to win this. So let's go. Mm -hmm. And after that, I don't know. I don't even know what her idea of perfection is because she's not perfect either. So what are you, you know, so aiming for? I think that for her, perfection is something in our control. If it is in, in our control, it is not perfect. I think eh, it's giving me flashbacks of mom when we were teenagers and it's really bad. <laughs> don't, don't say that to her, please. Nah. But yeah, it's it's a little bit funny to Asa trying to save all of those witches and they're just like, oh my god, don't save me, don't tell me what to well, do. I'm not gonna thank you for that. I kind of said it in the episode, but that's all they know, right? Mm. They are a female led society, but they have very limited um, interaction with men. They've been taught a certain way. They don't like. They're not used to to the world as we know it. So, of course, men will show up there and they're trying to save them and stuff. They'll take that as, as oh, you have bad intentions towards me and stuff. Like, they, all they know is the stories they've heard. And, and anyway, they've met guys like that creep, the commander from the Eye of the Midnight Sun, who's, like, talking about keeping them as slaves and using, like, vines and stuff to... to and talking about being with girls yeah, that are yeah. obviously way younger. Yeah, stuff like that. So, <laughs> Sorry. like, if men show up, and, and that's another thing, mm -hmm. it's a very closed society. So, the men that show up probably came in with an agenda. Like, they probably never saw a guy with, like, just a genuine heart and genuine intentions. Like, they probably all came here to steal a girl, like, do a dare or something, steal magic, like... They, they are monsters in their eyes, so they're not going to look at Asta and Finral mm -hmm. like they're saviors. They're going to look at them like, I mean, oh, you have bad intentions. Finral, I could probably guess so because it's Finral. He does have intentions. He does have agendas and yeah. more or less uh, pure intentions. But he's a nice yeah. guy. He's a nice but guy. <laughs> he's a nice guy. But for Asta, I don't expect them to change their view of uh, people in general, but... I'm guessing that it will be nice if at the end of it, they change their idea for Asta only. Yeah, it's not going to happen. That would be nice, but I don't expect it, you know? Well, I don't know if it's if I don't expect it. If I expect it to change by the end, like you said, because not in the midst of battle when they're freaking out and, like, they're being attacked by mm -hmm. men too, so they're not going to, you know, separate... Asta from the others. I mean, but Asta in is the going end, to change people's hearts and minds with his mo well, motivation. Just, so. if, he, if they save them, they're going to see outsiders and maybe men as potential allies. Maybe they'll be thankful. But it's okay. Like, it, as long as, uh, you know, they, they're happy, that's great. And as long as they don't hurt Asta or beat him up because of, of him being a man, that's fine too. But I think the way I saw it is all they've heard were, you know... They, they've heard stories about men. They had this idea of what men represent. And all the men they've probably met in their life were bad guys. Mm -hmm. So that's why now it's difficult for them 
to to accept that there's a guy on their side. But it does make for funny situations. But I mean, it's, it's not the main objective, but to me, it's like side quest unlock. <laughs> Let's convince them that we're good. <laughs> Maybe. But uh, we need to convince a bunch of people. We need to convince Fana to wake up, Mars to change sides, the queen to stop her ways and, and just change but a little bit, and the girls to accept men. Honestly, I don't think that Fana is going to wake up and it's going to be a tragedy because Mars going to have to face her. Well, if she died, and that's another thing, we still don't really know how that came to be, but if she died back then and somehow Lished had Fana's, you know, spirit or whatever, go into her dead body or something, like use the empty body, that's one way to, to be like, well, okay, well, Fana can't, well, she can be saved. So we need to, to free her by killing her. If she was still alive and somehow they lied about this, and, Unless and she was at death's door, like barely alive. But that's another that, that's another thing. It's because we have this idea that uh, William Vengeance is still wished. <laughs> but if he is, that means yeah. you don't need. He doesn't need to be dead to to be used, right? So with Fana, we were told she was dead. That Mars killed her. Is it an empty an empty body that was used after by Lish and his people, or is, did she survive back then and we didn't know? And he still used her. We don't know. That's why I'm saying this is basically the best situation for us to understand what's going on. And to understand more about what's going on. Mm -hmm. We understood a little bit with Veto because he had flashbacks. But now, Fana was the actual person that met people, had friends. Like, she lived here. So, And that's not the same girl. It's the same body. So, questions, questions. We'll see. We'll find out this, this arc. Or at least we'll okay. find out more. Alright. In any case, that's going to be it for this episode. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching it with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, the next one should be on YouTube pretty soon. So see you then, guys. Bye.